Good evening, Silver Tubers. It is Mr. Z coming to you from the Silver Pouring Bench for my second unboxing of the evening. And this is a this is a different kind of unboxing. Uh, the last two unboxings tonight are going to be a little bit different. This one comes all the way from Canada. Um, and this comes from our friend, Canadian Silver Savers, uh, highly talented artistic wife, Kate, who I'm not sure actually has a voice because um, I don't think I've heard her talk yet. But Kate, if you're listening to this, we want to hear your voice. We want you to be involved. You express yourself through your art. Every once in a while, pop in and say, hey, what's up, folks? All right, so I have to be very careful unboxing this one because this one uh, has some fragile content, uh, which is Italian for fragile. Um, this is a, an original Kate Reed piece of art. And so, as you notice, I am using the unboxing knife for this evening, but I am not applying any pressure. I am simply dragging it along the seams. I don't know how this is packaged, but as I have said from the beginning, we are all in this together. I'm opening it from the bottom because there was a mailing address on the top. And I think I see newspaper, so I might get to read some Canadian newspaper which will be exciting, I'm sure. Bum, 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 the packing material. And watching these videos, do you ever get the feeling like, uh, like the person doing the video is infusing a bomb? All right, so let's see what's going on in Canada right now. Uh, there's a postcard showing the Parliamentary Library circa 1910 with Casal's exhibit surrounding the statue of Queen Victoria. Very nice. Okay, moving on. All right, so we've made it past layer one of the packing material. And now looking into the cavern, we have, we have encountered a white layer here. Oh, and this is, I believe this is the the item. I'm checking very thoroughly because I almost missed something in my last, uh, one of my last videos and I don't want to miss anything. Um, there was a, uh, an additional something in the Big Lord, or, uh, uh, 11 Robert 11's video that didn't make the uh, didn't make the cut. Okay, so I think we've isolated the package, the actual package. So we're going to remove the housing. Okay, the housing has been removed, and now we're going to pan down onto. There we go. Okay, onto the table. The housing has been removed. Um, and see, I did that without showing an address. Outstanding job, Mr. Z. You are you're so good at this. Well, thank you. And we're, oh wow, oh my gosh. I'm getting all the packing material out of the way because this is going to bless the silver pouring bench. Wow. I don't know if you guys are getting this. There's the signature Kate Reed 17. Look at that. Look at that. That is that is beyond words. Look at and see the center. The center of the tree. I always talk about being centered and this design radiates out from the center of the tree right there that is some amazing look at all that detail each one of those lines was done by hand this isn't a cut and paste and drop and then photoshop and then and look at how that border it reminds me of a story of an artist who was summoned before uh 
he was requested he was going to be he was in the running to be the the royal artist um, and those of you who are artists know this story and several different artists were told to create a masterpiece um, and two of the artists you know did these very elaborate drawing painting pieces of art well, actually one made I think a statue another did a painting and the artist in question uh, drew a circle and when the uh, when the kings uh, or the I think gosh I can't remember if it's a king or a queen uh, opened it up and and saw the circle was in, actually insulted and the artist was called before the king and the artist simply explained that it is a it was a freehand perfect circle and challenged anyone to replicate a freehand perfect circle Kate you have done a freehand perfect circle in my book this is I just I want to get I want to capture all of the detail on these branches each one ends with its own characteristic that is just unbelievable that is going to what's on there? oh it's good oh man oh hey <laughs> look at the back goofball mr. Zeke thank you so much for your kind words support and purchasing my art I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed creating it thanks again Kate there's a card Kate Reed artworks and I'll get this close enough here there you go you can see uh, the Kate uh, let's see what it says here I can't read it my old ailing eyes maybe you guys can pick that up there's her email address And I know she's on Instagram and, and she, man, she included all the hardware that allows me to stand this up right where it belongs, right on the, right on the pouring bench, but I have to be careful because I don't want to break anything. Um, what a cool frame too. I think I put that in backwards. Yeah, I put that in upside down. So we're going to reverse, strike that, reverse it. This is a really neat frame. I'd like to get a frame like this and put all my COAs in it. Look at that. Ba-dunk, ba-dunk, ba-dunk. That is the icon for Mr. Zeke's channel. Done by a member of our very own community, Kate Reed. Uh, Mrs. Canadian Silver Saver. I don't even like to say that. She she stands alone. She's Kate Reed. So I appreciate it, Kate. It is It was well worth. You are definitely undervaluing yourself for what you charged me for this. So I want you to know I appreciate it. And this will forever uh, grace the silver pouring bench. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And... Mr. Canadian Silver Saver, you are a lucky man. You are a lucky, lucky man, my friend. So, I appreciate you uh, being so receptive when I asked to have one done. I saw Pit Bullions and was blown away by his, and I knew I had to have one. So, And she did exactly what she should have done. She took it and ran with it and made it her own. So, thanks again. I appreciate it. And I hope you both are doing very well. Mr. Zeke, coming to you from the Silver Pouring Bench. Cheers.